Hey, OK, let's do some view transition debugging. Uh, Alex Turpin sent me this example, uh, and he's, he's saying, look, when I press this, um, the transition's not correct. We can see this sub-level 3 here. It kind of gets really big. That's the thing you can notice the most. So here's how I debug that. I'm going to go into uh, DevTools, uh, and I'm going to go down into the Animations panel. Here we go. I'm going to pause the next animation uh, and click that there, and now we can scrub through the animation and get a closer look of what's going on. So we can see there, like this new content is appearing way bigger than it should be. Um, but we can also see that the old content is actually getting smaller than it should be. Like we'd expect it to stay the same size throughout the transition. This is a really common gotcha um, in view transitions. Here's what's happening. So here's that third group. We can look at these transition elements here. And you can see that that third group there, it's really long not very tall. Uh, and then in the final state, we can see that it's it's not as long as it was. It's kind of fitting the content now, uh, whereas in the initial state, it's not fitting the content. It's taking up much more of the width. A view transition is going to go from the before size and position to the after size and position. Now, and that's judged by the size of the element, which is what we're seeing here, not by the size of the text within the element. It's, it deliberately isn't that smart. So we need to fix this up. And there's a couple of ways of doing that. And I'm going to show you the more complicated one first. And the more complicated one first means we're just going to change the view transition styles. We're not going to mess with the page styles. So let's, let's get it to here so we can kind of see uh, this content's too big and this content here is too small. So up in the elements here, I'm going to pick up this, this new element. Uh, and I'm going to add a new style for it. And I'm going to add the top three. Uh, and what I'm going to use, so these are images, or they behave like images uh, in CSS. So that means I can use object fit. I'm going to use object fit none, which means please don't do any scaling. Um, it's in the wrong position now because it's appearing in the center of the element. So I'm now going to say object position and top left. And that's now working correct. We're not, we don't have that thing sort of growing. It still doesn't look right because we've got to do the same thing for the other content. So view transition old, uh, top three, and now object fit non, object position top left. And that is that part of the transition completely fixed. You can see now it's, it's transitioning from place to place. But that was quite a complicated fix. There is an easier fix, so let's do that as well. So refresh the page. We're back at the start. We've got um, the bug again. So this time we're going to fix it in the pages CSS, not just the transition CSS. And we're going to fix it by um, making this content. Here it is. This is a uh, few transition name top three. Part of the problem here is this element is so wide uh, rather than fitting to the content. Like the if we look at the after state, uh, the after state now is um, yeah, it's fitting to the content. So what I'm going to do is pick this up. If I can find it again, there we go. Uh, and I'm going to give it uh, width fit content. And now we can see the width is fitting the content. And now if I run that animation, the correct thing happens because we've lost that change in aspect ratio. It's now the same size before and after in the transition. So that's a nice, quick way of solving the problem. Um, but if for some reason you can't do that, you can tackle the problem purely by styling the view transition elements as well.